When you drop it, there's no guns. The door won't open. And your duo mate's already knocked. That's when I got your back, baby. Hold the beer, family. Well, hello there, humans, hippies, earthlings, whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and if you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it too. Welcome back to Channel I'm Bushka. Great to have you here with us today. Today is the Grip Masterclass. I'm going to be showing you everything you need to pick the grip that will shred the hardest for you. Now, I want to talk a little bit about my mate, Wacky Jackie. He is, well, not my mate. I've never met the man, but I'm sure he's a wonderful human being. He basically spurred me to do this because for the longest time, um, I've been doing testing on the mobile client and it differs from the pc client and i wanted to check and again with the grips the differences between the mobile and the pc client are quite apparent to me now i'm going to show you a graph that has all the numbers on it but i just want to talk a little bit about the testing for the purposes of these tests i used an m416 with just the grips on them no lower out no other attachments like no compensator no stock or anything like that i wanted to get a real feel for how the grips went i also did a lot of single tap testing on the grips and i'm going to give you an idea on what's the best to shred but also what gives you the best uh, bang for your buck in terms of single tap dmr grip as well now i've included five sprays from each weapon but in reality i did butt loads more than that with each weapon but these are representative and i was pretty happy with the results overall as a baseline and a guideline nothing is perfect in this world and i understand some of you will disagree but that's cool like don't go away unhappy <laughs> just <laughs> go away I can't help that. Uh, these are the graphs, right? These are the graphs. These are representative of the bullets hitting the wall uh, as it's testing. And don't think that didn't take an absolute buttload of time to find somewhere that was accurate every single time and gave me the best possible outcome. Um, we're talking, this video took five or six times longer than a normal video. First, I want to talk about the laser sight. Now, the grips on PC and the grips on the mobile client right now are different. We don't get any patch notes, so it's very difficult to know when they change things. But as of right now, there are different results. The laser sight's biggest claim to fame is that it doesn't hurt your recoil pattern. Now, I've banged on ad nauseum about recoil and how it is far more important to control horizontal recoil when spraying than it is to control vertical recoil because in reality it is very very easy to just drag your thumb down and that helps with vertical recoil but there's not a whole hell of a lot you can do when it's going left and right by large margins and horizontal recoil control is what these grips for me are all about. If you want to use them for spraying, you want horizontal recoil control. If you want to use them for single tapping, there is a whole other conversation with that. That's where the thumb grip actually is okay in single tapping. It's about the third best grip I found for single tapping a DMR. However, it is terrible in terms of doing anything to reduce the horizontal recoil on the gun and only has ever so slightly an impact on the vertical recoil. What it does do well is ADS. If you want to ADS, aim down scope, aim down sight uh, very, very quickly, it seems for me to have about a 25% ADS bonus. Um, the reason I'm a bit iffy on those numbers is you have to do it in video editing and video editing can be affected by the frames but it has the best ads benefit of any of the guns which is important in these kind of situations where you are basically zooming in so if you can put a thumb grip with a red dot then you've got a massive ads bonus increase and if that's what you're after then you can really leverage that to be to be you know a lot of value for you let's talk about the vertical foregrip and the vertical foregrip was one of two groups that seemed to be downright nasty with regard to horizontal recoil. Now, I'll run a vertical foregrip on a couple of guns, and this is why knowing these, these tendencies is important, but it's not everything. Like a barrel M762 and a G36C are two guns that I will run a vertical foregrip on because their vertical recoil is literally the most important factor in controlling the weapon. Uh, and particularly with the G36C, which already has so little horizontal recoil, running a half grip, which benefits horizontal recoil, is going to do very, very little for you, whereas a vertical foregrip will cut down on the only real recoil problem you have with that gun. And the barrel is so wild, while it is such a good damage weapon, that controlling vertical recoil is just massively important. Uh, even though with the barrel, you can run a half grip or something like that and still be successful. The vertical foregrip has no real benefits outside of the fact that it is absolutely the best in the game at decreasing the vertical recoil on your weapon. 
there are various vertical recoil issues though. One of them is the recoil itself, which is as you're pressing the, the fire button, the gun's rising up. The other one is recoil recovery. And when you're in single tap mode, uh, the vertical foregrip will give you a great lessening of that recoil rise, but it isn't the best for recoil recovery. Now, recoil recovery is a time after the gun's rises that it takes to set back down and stop being affected by that recoil factor and return to its aim. Uh, and for that, you want to be running something like the light grip, which absolutely helps more with that recoil recovery. Uh, and I think the vertical foregrip and the light grip are the two grips you want to be using on your single tap DMRs, whereas they are grips you want to steer away from on the majority of your ARs. Uh, your vectors and things, you can still get away with running both those because they are perfect for what the vector, what ails the vector, which is a huge big pump up. Let's talk a little bit about the light grip. The light grip, like the vertical, was no friend of horizontal recoil. It just wasn't. Um, and this is across more than just five sprays. So don't come yelling at me that it's the best grip in the game because I just don't believe you. Um, and this is like people that tell me that 5.56 five, ARs do all have different speeds and the armory can't be wrong. I've gone and tested it. You want to break the world, go and test it. I'm very happy for that to be the case. And if I'm wrong, I will, you know, come here and do a mea culpa because I've been wrong before, baby, and I'll be wrong again because I'm a trier and God loves a trier. Um, but the light grip, gee, I got off track there. The light grip is excellent as a DMR uh, and it's excellent too if you want to run it as a pseudo DMR, like an M416 or an, uh, you know, uh, a scar L or, or, you know, a uh, Whatever you want to run, an SKS, whatever, that needs single tapping, its recoil recovery is really great. So you can fire and it'll come back to rest a lot quicker than an SKS with a uh, vertical foregrip will. However, it will still have more more vertical recoil than an SKS will. Um, what do I mean by recoil recovery? Watch a, a gun like the, S the S12K there. It jumps right up and then you have to drag it back down. Um, because it stays up there. Its recoil recovery is terrible. Uh, the recoil recovery on the light grip is outstanding. It also has a really sneaky bonus to ADS speed, the light grip. So if you love that CQC and you're running a vector or something, it's a really nice grip, actually. Uh, I would run it over the vertical foregrip for a vector because of that ADS speed bonus. I, it came out to be about 10%. Uh, the... ADS bonus on the thumb grip was about 25%. So it's it's not a thumb grip, but it is a bonus. The, it was 0.18 for the thumb grip and 0.22 for the light grip. Those numbers are obviously in hundreds of a second. Ta-da! Because <laughs> we're nutting. Uh, this is the half grip. Hot diggity dog, the half grip. This is the one I've been advocating for freaking ever. It says on the box that it helps with uh, reduced recoil and all that kind of thing. And it absolutely does do those things. It's horizontal recoil pattern is the best. You're the best you are. And no one's going to take that away from you because you are the best you are. It's the grip you want to use when you're spraying. It's the grip I always use when I'm spraying. It doesn't let you down in that respect. One of the things that we will talk about the at the end is um, the validity of, validity of all these grips in terms of a spray pattern. Uh, and I will get to that. But before we do, we're going to have a chat about the angled foregrip. Now, the thing that you note here is that it is actually really good on the spray. The, and that's no surprise because that's that's what it's meant to do. Uh, it was horrible in terms of long-range single tapping on the DMR when I tested it. And it also had a very, very cheeky 18% bonus to ADS speed, which I had no idea about, which makes it... A wonderful grip. If you want to run this and a red dot together, you're going to get a really big ADS bonus while still maintaining beautiful horizontal recoil. So I would rate this uh, above the thumb grip in terms of, uh, even for those who like ADS speed bonuses and want to max it out with the thumb grip, I would rate that above the thumb grip for those that want to spray and still have an ADS benefit, especially if you run it with that red dot. It's it's such a, a beauty. And I was really surprised by that. It came out at 0 0.1, uh, 0 0.20 uh, a few times. I run multiple tests on these because they are affected by frames per second, okay? When you're down at like a frame every uh, 60 times, so, you know, 60 frames a second, it, it becomes really, really important where you cut the film. So I found that to be very, very interesting. Um, it was very, very nice in terms of spray pattern and very, very bad in terms of single shot DMR work. 
Now, I want to talk to you in a second about the overall outlook for the grips and how you should be using, how the mindset you should kind of have with these because it is not as simple as it sounds when I say this X, Y, Z. And there's good reason for this. And this is why I do so many specific videos on guns. And if you haven't checked them, go check the 36C and all that kind of stuff. I've done big videos on these weapons because it's important to understand that these grips affect the way the gun works very, very differently depending on both your play style, the position you're in, the map you're on. So if we look at them, you can see that these spray patterns are across a full 30 round clip with no adjustments made by me. So you're gonna get guns that perform very, very poorly horizontally already. And if you accentuate that by putting a grip that is really, really bad for horizontal recoil, you're gonna suck. But there's certain guns like an M416, for instance, if you put a compensator, a tactical stock, a, uh, a vertical foregrip on it, it's gonna be fine because the gun handling is so good to start with that it doesn't matter what you do to it, you can't really stuff it up. But for that, there is still a best practice result. And for me, that's always going to be the half grip for spraying. Wacky Jackie did a thing in his video where he uh, measured the distance between the first shot and the second shot. And you can see at the base of all these, there is a distance between the first cluster of, of rounds, which is the initial hit, and then the next where the weapon jumps up. That's where the first instance of recoil occurs however there's not a huge difference between them there isn't enough to certainly make it a worthwhile topic on a video like it is on the pc client and i have a sneaking suspicion that the guys at pubg mobile the balance guys have dumbed it down a little bit because let's be honest controlling it on a touch screen with your thumb is more difficult than it is using an entire hand to adjust recoil with a mouse on the PC client. Like you literally have your whole right or left hand to adjust your recoil. So I think they kind of made it a little bit easier. Uh, I will point out one thing, however, here. If you look at the first six or seven shots in the recoil tree, they are all very, very close. And that's this area here. That is the first six or seven rounds, sometimes even a round or two more if you're being cheeky. And that's because uh, the initial spray patterns are very similar or they haven't yet diverged. It's when you have to spray over longer ranges that these things become apparent. And that's why a lot of people will say a light grip is the best. Well, sure, if you're running an M416 with a tactical stock, a compensator, and a light grip, you're not really going to notice any difference because the freaking gun has such an amazing recoil pattern. What I'm talking about here is there is a best practice. There is a best grip for doing X, Y, Z. And I'm trying to outline that for you. It doesn't mean you can't play with the others, and it doesn't mean you can't win with the others. It just means that if you absolutely have to have the most information that you can have, well, here it is. Um, thank you so much for joining, watching, subscribing, liking, all those things. I really do appreciate it. If you like these kind of vids, there are an awful lot more on channel. I just did a massive vector and desync masterclass and giving you all the kinds of information you need if you want to win more. That's what I'm here for. That's basically what I get off on. Uh, I will say one more thing just in finishing and conclusion regarding the laser. Uh, I've had people tell me that the laser is awesome in, in hip fire and all that. And yeah, it does help your hip fire specifically with pistols but it also does give a benefit a small one to your hip fire on a normal weapon my issue with that isn't that it doesn't help it's just that it doesn't help more than the other grips do outside of and i will state this right here for the record the thumb grip because the thumb grip's biggest bonus uh is to ads and if you are not adsing obviously the thumb grip is not going to help you more than the laser will but for all other efforts i'd be running a half grip a vertical a light grip whatever the case may be because i think that will give you overall a bigger benefit than using the laser wheel on i mean i've seen people say the meta is a scar L with a laser pointer in ads you do that that's fine i'm sure you can win like that i've won with a crossbow before it doesn't mean that it's going to be the best for you <laughs> until next time look after yourselves uh i'm Bushka. eat your veggies be nice to your mum if you want to be a patron patreon.com forward slash the bushka that's how i keep the lights on around here baby and uh stay safe on the battlefield bye for now